hello friends today we are going to see how to work with source control repositories uh, specifically we are going to work with source repositories we are going to see how to clone them to the local machine that you are working from as well as how to clone them to a virtual machine that you create on gcp now this may sound very simple that okay what is in there to clone a repo but it's a little tricky uh, it's not gonna be a very big demo or anything, but uh, it will be completely hands-on So uh, without further ado, let's let's get started and see how do you create a source repo and how do you clone them? So for this first we will create a brand new project And we are gonna name this project uh, how to clone repos and we will create it perfect so it's created let's go ahead and view it it's a new project there is nothing there so let's get started from what we want to do the first thing we want to do is we want to come here and we want to say create a new source repository so there's nothing here and we are going to say add a new repo create the new repository and we will name this uh, simple app repo and for the project we will say how to clone repos let's say create give it a second perfect so once you create the repo you get all these options how do you work with it how to clone it using ssh authentication how to clone it using google cloud sdk how to clone it using manually generated credentials what we are going to do is we are going to focus on creating we are, we are going to focus on cloning it using ssh authentication google cloud sdk is not very difficult it's pretty easy uh, you just follow these steps and you should be good but if you are gonna work with the git client it's a little tricky so let's see how to actually do this okay so as you can see here we have two SSH keys that we have registered so how to do this uh, we come here on the right hand side and we say manage SSH keys and what we are gonna do is we are gonna delete them so that we can do it from the scratch perfect now we don't have any ssh keys nobody can access this repo right now and there is nothing there now how to set up the ssh key how to register the ssh key all the instructions are here you can look at them and and follow the steps or you can just you know uh, do what i'm doing now what you do is you click here and you say register manage ssh keys and let's generate the ssh keys so i have this simple command which i'm gonna run uh, it is ssh keygen minus t rsa minus c developer one you can put an email address in here or you can just put a name in here it doesn't really matter much so let's go ahead and create these ssh keys So where I want to create these keys, I want to create them here, slash developer1, that will be my key file and public key file. Alright, so you see we created this developer1 key, uh, this is the private key, this is the public key. When you are registering the SSH key, you want to register public key, you don't want to register private key. So let's go ahead and see what we have here we get the file we grab the content copy it and we click here and we say register the ssh key and this key name 
is what you want to do is you want to create a key per developer you don't want every developer to use the same key because then you lose control when one developer leaves you can't really you know when the when the developer leaves the project you can't deactivate them because everybody's using the same key so the best practice here is to create a key per developer so i'm going to name this developer one and i'm going to say register okay now my key is registered and i am ready to set up my local machine to use this key so let's come back here click on all repos you can see i have two repos here this is the one that we are working in okay okay so let's let's see how we can make this work from my local machine so what i want to do is the first thing i want to do is i want to edit my ssh config file because my key is not in the default path my key is somewhere else and i need to tell my ssh client that where to find that particular key so i'm gonna say vi config now this is empty this is what you grab so what we are doing here we are telling the host is repo one this can be anything whatever name you want uh, just put it there doesn't matter source name host name is the host name that google cloud gives you which you can find it right here along with the port number but you don't want to put port number in the host name so you put the host name here and next line you put the port then you put the user so this is the same user which is displayed here it is salim0630 at gmail.com and then you put the identity file so this is where my ssh key file is so this is the configuration i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it in here and let me say i'm good to go perfect next thing what we want to do is we want to go to the directory where we want to copy our where we, we have a git repo so we say cd sample app this is how our directory looks like so we just say git in it this is this just initializes a git repo uh, if you haven't done it or if you have done it then it just reinitializes the git repo there is nothing here right so you just come here and you say ls these are the two files that i want to make sure they go in my source control and this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say uh, git remote msv it's empty right git remote so it's empty there is nothing my, my git repo is there but it doesn't know which source repo where i'm going to push this or clone it from or anything okay so this is what we do we have to add the remote url for this so this command here it says git remote add this is google is what i put in here you can do any put anything in here and then you say ssh repo one this repo one should match with your host so if you name this something else maybe you named it as your repository then just put your repository name here but make sure your host whatever you put here it matches here and rest of the path is pretty simple you can just grab it from here so it's right here you can grab rest of the path from here so let's take this copy this and paste it here now if we say git remote minus v it will tell me that this is what my looks like i messed up this is not supposed to be lot balancing one it's supposed to be how to clone repos I'm gonna just fix it. Copy this. Get remote remove Google. Nothing here. Copy this. Paste it. Now get remote minus v 
Perfect. So this is my project name, how to clean clone repos, and this is my repository name. And that is pretty much it when you're doing it from your local machine. So now we just say git status. Nothing here because I already have a git commit, but if you you just do you know git add whatever files you want to add git commit i already have done it that's why it's not showing me anything but now if i say git push google master it will ask me and i'm gonna say yes and you can say it pushed it and if i refresh this you can see i have my app.py and requirements.py already here and these are the two files that I wanted to push, which I pushed. Perfect. So now what we are going to do is we are going to see how to do this from a Google Cloud virtual machine. So before we go and see how to do this from the virtual machine, let me tell you why we went through this complicated route, why we had to edit this SSH config file and you know, create the alias for the repo one and create the key for the developer one is because in reality, you may be working on multiple projects and you may have multiple developers working on that project and you may have multiple repos on your local machine right you, you don't want to use the same repo for every project that's not how it works and you also don't want to have the same key for every developer because then when the developer leaves the project you don't want to distribute a new key to everybody and break whatever they're working on right so a developer leaves you just come here and you just just delete their key you know they left the project they left the company you know whatever they did right uh, on top of it if you have multiple repos right that is the reason why we created why we did this uh, why we added this here so if you have multiple repos they will have different you know uh, URLs multiple multiple different users may have created them so all you do is just keep copying this and paste it again so your host name will be repo2 host name will be repo3 your host name will be same and your port will be same your user will be different for each repo if you have multiple departments working in a different projects and your identity file may or may not be same so you can probably use the same identity file you know if you have it you know so there was the reason why we went through a little complicated route instead of using it you know simply with g cloud you know it's using with g cloud is pretty easy we are gonna do that from the virtual machine because that's the it's it's a better way of doing it from a virtual machine right so uh let's see how to do this from the virtual machine so you come here and you say cloud console and you are in the project how to clone repos and you come here and you say compute engine right? and let it initialize right now while it is initializing what we want to do is we want to create a service account the service account that we will create that's the service account we will associate with this virtual machine and it will have the rights to clone this particular repo so let's come here to identity and access management and let's come to the service account now when we are going to create when we create the virtual machine we are not going to associate this you know default service account because if you do that it's not going to work uh, that's what i found it does not work with the default service account it will give you this error saying you know your identity scope is too narrow and it, it will not have permissions right so let's create a service account and we will name this service account as my awesome compute service account and description is uh, compute engine service account we will say create the role we want to go with the least permissions we can give to this this role we want this role to be able to do only git clone uh, for this particular repo we don't want to do anything more than that so let's do that uh, 
come here and we say uh, source repository administrator reader or writer we don't want this virtual machine to write we don't want it to create new repos all we want to do is read this particular repo and that's the only role we are going to attach and we will say continue perfect uh, we don't want to create the key file or anything now that's done so let's go back to our compute engine and let's create a virtual machine the virtual machine instance one is good uh, region we are going to change it to northern virginia machine type is good everything is good we are going to change this from debian to ubuntu 10 gig disk is good this is what you do so instead of leaving this service account default we change it to the service account that we created in the previous step and we leave everything else blank take anything everything else default let's say create it's not gonna take much time perfect now we probably missed to create the ssh key here we did so let's go ahead and create an ssh key that we will use to access that virtual machine i already have the ssh key so i'm gonna just use that particular ssh key If you want to understand how to create these SSH keys, how to associate them to the project and everything, there is a different video that I have created. Uh, you can go and check that out. Now that I have created this SSH key, uh, I have my virtual machine already here. Uh, hopefully I should be able to SSH to this. So SSH minus I. Some project user, project user at this IP address. Yes, perfect. Now we are in this virtual machine, so let's just create a directory. Get your my cloned repo. See my cloned repo. Now let's come back to our repo and we click on this button here which says clone we click on it and we say how do we want to clone it now because we are doing it from the virtual machine we don't want to use git client here we want to use gcloud sdk so we change it from this drop down from ssh authentication that's what is selected by default we change it from ssh authentication to gcloud sdk we copy whatever it gives us and we paste it here and you can say that it's cloning and if i say ls you can see my sample app repo is here and what the files are here so there is it uh, we just saw how to ssh uh, sorry how to clone the repo using ssh from your local machine and using gcloud from a virtual machine also Keep in mind that the service account that you create, don't use the default service account, create a new service account and give it only the permissions for source repo reader because that is all we want to do. If you want to do more with that, you can definitely give more permissions, but make sure that you give the permissions the least permissions that you can give. So that is it for this. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, happy Google Cloud journey thank you very much